Next station is Emirates Towers. people this is my third day being in Dubai for the last two days we have been exploring the old Dubai so today I think it would be important and um, interesting to see the different side of it which is the modern side of Dubai so I'm also going to take a metro just technically my first time trying it um, that's another way of alternative exploring Dubai and yeah let's get to explore and see you again later. So before actually getting onto the train, I have to buy tickets. Okay, it seems like I have to know which line that is. I am going to Burj Al Khalifa, Burj Khalifa, or Dubai Mall. And oh, it turns out there's this. So I have to find um, zone number one. <laughs> it's quite an experience. Because there are two options, three actually, in terms of payment, you can pay by cash, credit card and null card. And I don't have null card, my credit card doesn't work. Let's just try with cash. We are currently at line two, so I have to get onto the train and change to line one. I think a couple of stops. Doors <laughs> closing. So this is where we are right now, and we are going to this one and look at that. At the end of it, it says UAE exchange. At the exchange um, metro station, there will be one saying to Rashidia and the other one saying to UAE exchange. And the UAE exchange is the destination we're going for. Dubai Mall. It is quite far. They do have this bridge that also has a walking elevator as if like we are at the airport. It's quite fascinating to see the difference being old Dubai and modern Dubai. Whereas the old Dubai, the buildings looks like the color is like sand colored buildings. So it feels like very Middle Eastern, but this one quite dynamic. This is considered to be one of the largest malls in the world. In the world, actually, this is the second largest mall in the world, considering the land acquisition of this mall. However, there are over 1,200 retailers in this particular mall. So this is one of the top sea sightseeing in Dubai itself. Um, considering that Dubai is hot in terms of weather and it's dry. So it's quite common to find people actually being inside of this particular mall because it's air conditioned, it's cooling, um, and also to have such shopping experience. I think 
think other than that, they do have this huge um, underwater zoo as well as a huge aquarium. So in itself, the building itself is a mega structures building. I can see the charm why the Dubai Mall being one of the most visited destination or just place in Dubai because technically it's hot outside it's cool inside there are many things that is beautiful to look at bling bling glamorous that kind of lifestyle and in itself right it's an experience of you know having luxury nice things we have a lot of malls in Jakarta as well, but truly the things that we buy, how much is it that are really essential things in life and how much is it that we really need. So yeah, it's, it's a nice observation in itself and, you know, people watching. from Dubai so it's possible because the bus itself costs I think 30 dirham or 35 dirham which is about $10 the journey itself from Abu Dhabi to Dubai took an hour and a half to two hours I met Megan which is a friend whom I met in Nepal we went to Sadiat Beach which is considered to be a private beach because you have to pay I had to pay a certain amount of entrance fee I think about 10 bucks to gain 35 dirham We went to a couple of malls to run some errands and we went to this particular place called Emirati Palace which is actually a hotel but it was so grand you can literally go inside and be mesmerized by the what is it called? the interior design it's beautiful it reminds me a little bit of my time in Macau. Emirati Palace is considered to be one of the top sites in Abu Dhabi. And then we tried to go to, so it was Friday, yeah? But we went to, we tried to go to the the mosque. This is one of the, the most visited mosques in UAE, which is because it's very beautiful. However, because it was Friday, it was not open until 5 p.m. because of the Friday prayers and everything. So by the time we got there, so many people. And sometimes, right, these top sites are very much in, like beautiful to look at. But to be honest, for me, the crowds makes me feel like uh, I can skip that. So I skipped that. But then I had uh, a necklace with a pendant that was engraved according to my, what is it called? Horoscopes. It was engraved by Megan's boyfriend. I had dizziness and I got nauseous 
right away, straight away. And guess what? I vomited three times. This safari tour, right? That's nice. Quite an experience. But it's not for me. While doing it, the music is so loud. And I'm not that kind of person. That's a shame though. I'm feeling extremely dizzy and nauseous. So yeah, there's that. There's that the experience of um, knowing it's not my kind of experience, yeah? But it was nice to be in the desert. However, it was really a touristy stuff, meaning like it was fabricated and targeted for tourists, which is okay if you're okay with it. But to me, it was not something that I was seeking for. So after that, if you pay for that particular tour or any kind of tours of desert tour in Dubai, you would be... You're supposed to experience the camel riding for quite a short period of time. I saw the camel having to get up and get out just so that people can be on top of it and I felt like it was quite unethical so I didn't get on that. The other tourist and I, we stayed for the entire served night um, for dinner and a couple of other performances um, such as belly dancing, also tanura dance or you know, you may know this as Sufi dance in Turkey and also the last one is fire dancing, yeah? experience is actually right now sitting by the creek and then watching the sun is about to set and watching all of this abra passing by but that's pretty much about it for trying to catch up with travel different experiences i hope to see you again in my next video don't forget to let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below subscribe to this channel like this chat um like this video and comment down i would love to read your comments i'll see you again next time bye